Hello everybody, it is Zhao and I am back with another video. So, I've heard a couple of people uh, asking me and posting on the forums basically about cabin drops. Uh, what they are, how to beat them, how to react to them, all that sort of thing. So to cover, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to go actually into cabin drops, what they are and how they work. And then in my next video I'll talk about how to actually deal with them, fight back and mitigate the damage. So, the idea of cata drops comes from cata, from the catapult, uh, and an airship to pick up and drop them. Yeah. So the idea is that the sort of heavy hits from the catapults with the AoE will hit workers while they're mining, and if they're all stacked up, you're going to do a lot of damage very quickly, and it's a really, really strong source of harassment. But it does take a little bit of control to effectively do the damage. So, the idea is, load up two catapults in an airship, and you'll take them over to your enemy's base. Uh, so we're just going to wander on through here. So this obviously also gives you scouting information as you pass through, lets you see what they're doing, what's going on in their base, uh, as well as keeping them back in their own base. So you can see here, uh, just the AI has got a couple of workers well, so that's fine. So what we're going to do is focus our catapult shots on this section here where they're all going to stack up and mine together and you can see it's killing all the workers very very quickly I'm not having to do anything now I can just leave it and it's wiped out the entire worker line and you can see not very long at all so there's a couple of things to note when controlling these I like to have the catapult on one hotkey and the airship on another just so I can quickly access both of them because if the catapults are up in this airship the hotkey to select them, you can see, doesn't actually bring them up. So sometimes you want to better just grab the airship. The other important uh, set of hotkeys to know, uh, as we dodge away from town, is learn the drop hotkey. So that's on W for me by default. So either I can click uh, on the ground for W and it's going to drop the catapult, or uh, I can do W and click on the airship itself and it'll drop them. If you grab the airship and right click onto catapults, it'll go and pick them up. Uh, or if you get the catapults themselves and send them to the airship, it'll go and pick them up. So that gives you a lot of control, a lot of different ways to pick up and drop the catapults. And as you can see, it's very, very effective. I mean, I can just send these up here, W click, go up to my own base and deal with things. In the meantime, this is going to drop the catapults, and, well, in this case it's targeted the soldier, but you can see, really not much APM effort on your behalf to really do a lot of damage. Okay guys, so we're going to take a look at uh, an actual practical example from a couple of days ago, uh, against a match I was just playing against someone in the lobby, where I did actually end up using catapult drops. So don't pay too much attention to the builds because a lot of it is based off reactions and adjustments and all the rest of this. Uh, but watch what happens when the attack actually comes in. So he's got an army down here at the front. And my attack is going to come into the undefended main base here. I could have come in from this side as well, but I chose to go into the main. And you can see very quickly, that's five workers have already gone down. And the rest of that workers have already been zoned off the mining. His whole army, or at least all of his anti-air, comes in through this gap. I'm surprised they didn't find me up there, but they all come in. So at this point, I'm not under pressure at home. He's not attacking. He's not scouting. He's not doing any of this. All of his attention is over here. And then I managed to pick up another three workers and zone him off the second base. So for a rather small investment, I've managed to keep my entire side safe. I can tech up safely, and I've brought his whole army back as well as scouting his whole base. And both the airship and both catapults are full health, so I can just keep doing this again. And this continues to provide the threat of he has to pay attention to his base, pay attention to his army, and watch out for if I ever come back. 